Rain chances, well, they are increasing as we head into tomorrow, and we're holding on to some chances heading into the weekend, but we're getting new data, giving us a better perspective of what to expect heading into the weekend. Speaking of data, let's kind of crunch where we are at compared to last year, because if this feels like just a little soggier of a fall so far than last year, well, you wouldn't be wrong. This season, which, which we start measuring come September 1st, that's the meteorological start of fall. So this season, we have just over three and a third inches of precip. This time last year, we had just over an inch. So that's more than a two inch difference. We're still below the average, which should be right over about four and a half inches. New data coming in today from Climate Central breaks down our seasons by precipitation. And believe it or not, summer is the month, or I should say the season rather, that we get the most precipitation. You might think spring because April showers bring May flowers. Well, spring's actually third. Fall is the second month when it comes to the rankings of how much precip that we get. So there you go. Speaking of that precipitation, here it is off to our west. Low pressure system churning throughout portions of the Midwest. That's going to push eastward and it will pump in some cloud cover a little later today ahead of it. And then as we head into Thursday, the rain will arrive. 58 at City Airport, 55 in Ann Arbor, 58 down in Monroe. Now we are officially at 60 in Lapeer and 57 in Port Huron. So it's the pick day of the week. 62 degrees this afternoon for the high temperature. Let's take a look at one of these my pick photos that came in of the color change over in Howell. So thank you to the Marks for sending in this my pick photo from the bushes to the maple trees looking beautiful out there. So our current fall colors check in here in southeastern Michigan, mainly at partial. We're going to be very close to near peak and we're already there just north of Lapeer. Now as we zoom out right at peak north of Mount Pleasant into the northern tier of lower Michigan, UP has already surpassed their peak. So our fall color report, we're just about a week away from near peak and we'll be at peak in two weeks. Once we get to November, well, the best of the colors will be out of here. So tonight, 51 degrees, so milder night under mostly cloudy skies, starting to turn a little breezy. Can't rule out a spotty shower, but really a better chance of the rain arriving tomorrow morning. That's when I'm going to stop the clock. 9 a.m. Western counties start to get brushed with these showers that are pushing eastward, and they'll be draping southeastern Michigan at the lunch hour tomorrow. Might get a little window where you can run a few errands midday, about 2-3 o'clock, and then more rain will roll in in the later afternoon. Stick with us into the evening. Thursday night seems to be pretty dry, more cloud cover, and then as we head into the midday Friday, maybe a passing shower. Now this is another look at some data that we have for Friday. It's with this cold front that pushes through. So widespread rain chances early afternoon, but for high school football, this is a little snapshot at 7 p.m. We could contend with a little bit of rain, but it's pushing out of here, so it shouldn't be a whole washout for the game. Now Saturday, we have some rain showers down to our southwest, but now it's looking like they kind of just dance all around here. So great news if you're heading out to East Lansing for the rivalry game. We should be drying out for that 730 kickoff. Otherwise, falling temperatures through the weekend. And look at that, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday morning waking up in the 30s.